But today, I have my friend Echo Gaming here, physically, right here with me, and we're going to discuss one of the most important questions about Diablo Immortal. We're going to talk about one of our favorite features in the game. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo, and I have my friend Echo Gaming here, physically, with me, to talk to you about some really important things about Diablo Immortal. Welcome to the channel. Today we were hanging out and uh, actually doing Taco Tuesday, right? Yeah, man, tacos were great. It was really good. Mm -hmm. So while I had him at tacos, we said, that's a great idea. Why don't we get together and actually do a physical video with both of us right here, talking to you about some of our favorite features about Diablo Immortal. In fact, our favorite feature about Diablo Immortal. So why don't we get started, Echo? Yeah, I mean, getting started has to do with you because we just talked about it, my favorite, on my channel. But I want to know about yours, Nemo. Like, what's your favorite thing about Diablo Immortal? There's so much to love. We had to narrow it down. We did. We did. In fact, I'm actually going to link Echo's video up top. You definitely want to make sure you check it out. But one of my favorite things about Diablo Immortal is what it's actually doing for the community. What it's doing for the whole game. Like, some of my friends who have never even heard of Diablo are, are going to be playing this game. They're excited. And not because I'm a content creator, but because this game is coming to a mobile phone, right? And this mobile phone is going to be with everyone. Everybody has a mobile phone. Everybody will be able to play Diablo. And it's really, really exciting to me what it's going to do to the community, what it's going to do to the game, and just how, how it's going to bring it to all of the masses, expand it. And I'm really, really pumped for that. Of course, we'll talk more about it, but Echo, what do you think about that? I mean, I've seen a lot of people in my comment section that say they never got to experience Diablo because they didn't have a good enough PC, they didn't have a console, so they've never played Diablo 1, 2, or Diablo 3, and they're really excited about playing the game because they have a phone, they're able to play it on their phone or their tablet, even if it's an older phone, mind you, and they're going to be able to experience Diablo. And in my experience, I actually enjoy Diablo Immortal more than the older Diablo games just because there's so much more content there. No, it's not the same experience you're getting on PC, but it's just a different experience. Not worse, not better. It's just different. And in my opinion, there's a lot more content there. I mean, it's a newer game. 10, I mean, how many years newer is it from Diablo 3? A lot. Yeah. yeah. A lot and, of years. I think a lot of people are actually talking about that. It's a good question you bring up, right? Some people who have been playing D3, myself included, Echo, we're always like, man, these Diablo Immortal, like, editions or whatever is what people wanted in Diablo 3, right? I think it's yep. going to really convert a lot of players. It's almost like this is Diablo 3 and a half, I think. So that could just draw people right from the Diablo 3 community as well. It's really exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 better. Now, a lot of people, remember when we started doing Diablo more on the channel? The channels have gone through an evolution. In the beginning, people were saying on my channel, why are you covering this game? This game is going to be trash. It's Diablo 3 on mobile. Then people started getting upset saying, why isn't this game out yet? We want to play Diablo Immortal. And I guess that's kind of where it sits now, except for because it's so close, that people are getting more excited. Like yeah. the negativity has faded over the years from that initial, you know, release announcement or not even release announcement. That would, that would be a lie. There was yeah. no release announcement. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. it's more of an announcement about the game. So everyone's excited about it and the ability to get into Diablo in a different platform, I think is cool. Now they also added control support. So people that aren't into the whole mobile thing can hook up their controller and play. You know, you don't have to play on your phone. You can play on a tablet. You can get yourself a 12 inch tablet. You may already have one and you could play. It's, you know, almost as good as a computer monitor. So you're not playing on something tiny all the time. Although for me, yeah, exactly. For me, I like playing on the phone. It's just where I'm more comfortable, but I also don't like playing with the controller. I like my, my fingers on the glass, and that's just how I game. You know, and that's another good point that I love about this game is the controls, right? I mean, I know we're kind of going back and forth, but they're, they're con I'm not even into, I, I'll be honest with you, I never really liked the uh, mobile control. I never really liked to be on screen because I can't feel the buttons physically, and they always kind of threw me off. I never liked mobile games for that reason. But this is the only game, I'm telling you, I'm actually not going to play with the controller. I'm going to play with on-screen buttons. It gives you advantages, but it just feels natural. It's like one of the... Something that I can't really explain to you. The sound, the looks, the, the graphics, the immersion, but the feel of the game, it just it feels very, very natural. And I, I love the controls. Yeah, I do too. I mean, the game's taking forever to come out. I made my YouTube channel two and a half years ago, thinking the game was going to come out in six months from when I started two years after when I thought it would originally launch, we're still here waiting, but 
in that time, they've really put something great together. Diablo Immortal looks great, plays great, has great features. It really is, in my opinion, one of the best mobile games, although it's not here in our hands yet. It really is fantastic, which is why I'm, I'm cool with just continuously creating content for it, knowing it's coming out. But yeah, man, I think that we've, I think that the game has kind of converted some Diablo 3 people into being acceptors of Diablo Immortal on mobile, even if it's just holding them off until Diablo 4. It's still content for a few years until Diablo 4 gets here. New Diablo content, whether it be on phone, PC, console, doesn't matter. It's new Diablo content. Agreed, very much so. And one of my last favorite things we'll, we'll talk about in this video right here is the involvement of Blizzard. One of the things they do is listen, and they've proven this so many times, right? We've made multiple videos where they've actually literally answered the videos and made the changes. They've listened to all of the people that were in the alpha and the beta tests. They constantly want your feedback because they really want to make sure that this game comes out really, really good. It comes out really, really like what you want it to be. And we've put so much effort into it. We've put so much input into it. It's, it's really amazing to have to have Blizzard actually listen to the player base. It's one of the, my favorite things about Diablo Immortal. And it's not only that, it's their commitment to to continuing development of the game. And this is the this is a key element of a game being success, successful for a long time, right? We want Diablo Immortal to be a 10 year game, 10 year plus game. And if we don't support the game, the game doesn't have the funds that they need to continuously grow. So when we talk about the battle pass or ways that you can spend money in game, that's essential when you're talking about a game that you can play for free. It's not like we're paying 60 yeah. bucks for a game and then that's how they make their money. We could all play the game 100% for free, but I'll guarantee you that there will be absolutely no updates whatsoever and we will have what we have on day one if no one ever buys, right? So their commitment to new characters over time, new zones over time, even updating with the whole character swap mechanism that mm -hmm. we still don't know much class about. Change, yeah. yeah, the class change. That's gonna be cool over time as well. But, but that's gonna come with support from the game. There's people creating it, they need to get paid. So kind of going off on tangent here, I hope that's okay. No, hope good. I'm not ruining your video. Not at all, you all kidding right. me? All right, good. <laughs> so I think this is great that they've made that commitment and they've put the things in place to have that be successful over time because I know me as a content creator and me as a Diablo Immortal player, I wanna see things all the time. I wanna see new zones, new events, new characters, and just new features inside of the game forever improving to be the uh, my next 10 years. That's that's what I want to see, man. I'm with you 100%. Next 20 years, let's just keep it rolling. Hmm. Being no Diablo Mortal 2. <laughs> no. Soon. All right, so let's wrap this up. But before we do, now we actually just did this video over on Echo's channel. We talked about a few other things and he mentioned some things in this video that I'm going to link up top. You want to make sure you go visit him, of course. He has a lot. That's right up there. He has a <laughs> He has a lot of stuff to, to tell you about. It's a really good video. Another thing that you should definitely do is join our, uh, our uh, Scrappy Echoes, which is our clan family that we started together. We started for the community. We have over a thousand people in there now. They're very so strong. We, we are very, very strong. There's so many Scrappy Echoes around. I cannot wait to see this go. And you definitely should come on down. The link is down below. And join us. Get in early enough to get started. What do you think, Echo? Yes. I think they should do exactly that. The links. Click on them, join us. And when you're there, tag the heck out of Nemo. Bother the man. Just like I told everyone to bother me, I, it was only fair. That's true, yeah. that's true. Tag me as soon as you get on the server. Make sure you tag him as well though, because he definitely <laughs> wants to make sure that, yeah. that he hears from you. you. Let us know, you come down to the Discord server, say hello to us, we're always over there. He was just talking about his day there, just uh, actually earlier today. It was. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So anyway, long story short, you definitely want to make sure you come on down there. You also want to make sure you go join this man right here is his channel. Subscribe, hit the ring, the bell, the notifications, everything he comes out with pretty much daily Diablo Immortal videos. He's been squeezing water out of a stone. His 300,000 videos are already in the game is not even out. Yeah, coming soon, the glistening water effects in the game. Along with the grass, right? That was a great video. That was my favorite. That was my favorite video. Very good. Video. It was really good. You definitely want to go make sure you check that one out. I'll link the grass video, echo down below, everything. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.